In this short tips and tricks video we're going to look at uh, an introduction to tracing images automatically. Now tracing images automatically is a quick and easy way for us to create vectors in the software that follows an image. So let's take a look at this powerful tool. So the first thing that we need to do is actually bring in an image so we can go to this icon here, import bitmap for tracing. I'm just going to bring in this teddy image, you can see that there if I just, uh, just make that a little bit bigger. Okay, so I've got my image that I want to use. Now to trace images automatically we use this icon here and this is trace bitmap where we fit vectors to the selected bitmap. So the first thing that I can do is select the type of tracing that I want to use. Here I have a black and white image so I'm going to select the black and white option. I also have the option to choose colour, so if we select that uh, you can see that the software pulls out all of the colours that it can see within that image and where we have a maximum threshold of 16 colours to choose from. Now there is a tutorial that covers this area of the trace bitmap form in a lot more detail. So we're just going to go with black and white for now and you can see here that I have a slider where I can decrease the amount of colours or increase until I'm happy with what's shown in the 2D view. Okay, so I'm happy with somewhere around here, you can still see the image here and then we have other extra options here at the bottom that will determine how tight the vector will fit around an image and how many pixels that it will cover within this noise filter here. Let me also can alter the fading of the bitmap just to control the shading of the image that we can see in the 2D view. And then what we can do is we can preview this and once we preview that you can see the vectors that have been fitted to the bitmap according to the settings that we put within this form. We can then continue to edit the settings until we're happy with the outcome, at which point we can then just go ahead and press apply and then that will make that permanent. We can close that down and come out the form. So let's take a closer look at those vectors. I'm just going to box select the top area of the teddy bear. You see those vectors are selected. And then we're going to use this icon here, zoom selected, and that will just zoom in on the selection that I have. Now what I'd like to do is just take one of those vectors and just go into node edit mode just to take a look at the nodes within that vector. So we can do that by clicking on this icon here or I could press N on the keyboard to access that as a shortcut key. So we can see here we've got quite a lot of nodes. We've got, you can see we've got lots of blue nodes, they represent smooth nodes and we've got lots of black nodes that represent straight nodes. So we don't really have a smooth shape. And that's due to the nature of the image and the way that the software works in that it creates vectors around pixels. So it may require you to do a bit of editing in order for you to get smooth vectors. And so to edit the vector what we'd want to do is we'd simply want to just reduce the amount of nodes that we've got in here and just replace them with nice smooth Bezier curves, Bezier spans and smooth nodes. So to do that we'd simply just zoom in, select quite a few of those nodes and just delete them using D on the keyboard and we'll smooth that point by pressing S on that node. If you're not familiar with node editing there are quite a few tips and tricks videos that primarily focus on node editing in the software. Okay, so you, you want to go for things like this, nice smooth spans between smooth nodes and you'd work your way around that uh, entire vector until you had something that had uh, this sort of effect. Alternatively, there is more of an automatic way to do this. Uh, you can have your vector selected and use this option here, Fit Curves to Selected Vectors. And this will sort of auto-do what we were just doing then. So what you can do is select your fitting type. In this case, we want Bezier Curves. We want, we want a nice smooth shape running through that vector. Set in a tolerance, replace the selected vector with the new one, press Preview, and you can see all it's doing is reduce the amount of nodes we've got in there, and yet it still pretty much follows the original shape that we had of that vector. So go ahead, press OK, and then just go into Node Edit Mode, and you can see the number of nodes there has been reduced. And so that concludes this short introduction to the Trace Bitmap tool. Now there are two videos that follow this video that looks at the Trace Bitmap form in a lot more detail. We'll be looking at the types of tracing to use and how we can control the vectorization in the Trace Bitmap form. Thank you for watching.